Samsung has just introduced a new one. Yes, I know that maybe this news does not excite many, but let's talk about the Exynos 1580. According to the nomenclature, this processor should be the processor that Samsung will integrate in the Galaxy A50 6656 since from the 1280, 1380 and 1480. This processor is present in the A5X model and honestly the processor of the last generation already gave a decent performance, although it was not the most powerful in its price range, but I think that for a large majority of users will be a good processor so it is expected that with this Exynos 1580 things will still improve in a much bigger way. In fact this processor is said to be manufactured in a 4 nanometer process although by Samsung it offers three clusters the first with three Cortex cores at 720 running at 2.6 gigahertz and finally four cores at 520 running at 1.95 gigahertz. The GPU is also new generation. Xclips 540 is a GPU that Samsung has worked with AMD and we already know that this collaboration had high expectations and then disappointed but lately they have been getting back on track. So it is said that with this GPU Samsung has really gone all out to have a much higher performance in gaming as this GPU is said to have an additional processor called a cluster processor. So with this you would have two processors of this style and it would be able to improve all the graphics processing. It is said that the GPU will be 30 37% more powerful than the last generation, achieving 20% more power in the same power consumption. They have also improved a specific section of the image signal processor that will be able to reduce noise in real time so we would have much sharper photos and night videos with higher quality. In fact, this processor supports recording in 4K at 60 frames per second, although it is not confirmed that the next Galaxy A56 will have this support. It also supports displays in Full HD+, Plus up to 144Hz and supports LPDDR5 RAM. It also includes support for Wi-Fi, 6, 5G networking and Bluetooth 5.4. So definitely that it is a good processor but it would have to be put to the test against its main rivals of the moment when it is unveiled. For now the Galaxy 55 has not disappointed at all. You yourself have seen in different comparisons I have made that it has beaten several of its rivals competing in the same price range here in Mexico, although in other countries the situation may be very different.